Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to do something for our Mac users. We haven't really done a lot of Mac videos and I think it's about time. And the first video I want to do for Mac is a pretty special one. It's a follow up or a, uh, a an addition to a previous video that I did. Very successful video that we did here on My Computer Works, which was the uh, how to clear the Windows Defender scam or the Windows, uh, sorry, the Microsoft Security scam pop up on Windows, uh, which is something that we see all the time. A lot of users unfortunately run into this as they're cruising across the internet because the scammers use it as sort of a, a wide net to try to pull in people and get their information and steal data from them. So it's pretty, pretty nasty stuff. But we've seen a lot of calls for it on Mac. So I want to show you all how to clear it on your Mac operating system in case you run into it there. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down the command key on your keyboard and then you're going to hit option and escape key together at the same time while that's happening. Now, this is similar to like the control alt delete process on Windows operating system. And so what you can do in here is you can force quit applications out. OK, and so as I've discussed in the previous video, in the other video related to uh, the Microsoft security scam pop up, it's a browser pop up. So if you if you kill the browser, you kill you kill the pop up. And again, it's not harmful unless you call the number. So all we need to do is is force quit out. So we're going to go ahead and again, holding down the command, we're going to hit option and escape. That's going to pull open the window here to allow us to force quit out of our browser. So let's say Safari is open. We're going to force quit that out. If Chrome's open, force quit that out. What, whatever browsers are open uh, in the in the activity monitor inside of here, we're going to kill force quit from here. OK, now, once you do that, that's, that's step one. I also recommend you want you might want to go over to that browser that you were in, reopen it because it might ask you if you want to restore pages. We don't. Right. So we don't want to get that uh, that pop up back. So we would we would choose no or cancel. We would not restore pages. Um, in addition, you might also want to just go install Adblock Plus if you don't have it in your browser. So go to Adblock Plus dot org. I'll have that URL down in the, the description that could help prevent these in the future. Uh, but ultimately, also going to your history and looking at where you were. That's pretty big. So go into your browser, go to your history and see what led you there. A lot of times it'll be things like searching for Amazon in your Google uh, search and it takes you to the wrong website or uh, a Facebook link. Maybe you saw something on Facebook you wanted to read a news article or a recipe or something. So look to see where you were, be aware and try to avoid that place in the future. Again, I'm going to try to do some more videos like this for Mac. Uh, I have a Mac sitting here, so I might as well uh, bring you some some more videos and help you out with the Mac operating system because we've gotten some requests for it, which is awesome. That's what we want. If anybody else has requests or things that they'd like to see in the videos, please leave a comment down below and like and subscribe while you're down there. Thank you, everyone. and We'll see you on the next one.